Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here. This is Patton Emporium's newest release called the Sweet Cheeks Sweater. Now, don't you love Kate's choice of names? I tell you, this is one you'll remember. I love this sweater. I actually thought about making something. I saw this Lurex fabric and I really wanted something I could make a little bit dressy for wearing out with a pair of jeans. This pattern ticks all the boxes if you're wanting a dressy type of sweater or something more casual to wear at home, maybe with a pair of sweatpants. You can make it in such a huge variety of knits. And as you'll see, I have made one, two, three, four. I've got about another three that I'm planning to make as well. Everything I've used here or that I've made, I have in my online store. I have gone a bit nuts on Lurex at the moment. I've um, Apparently I've heard it's gonna be the next big trend coming in fashion. I know it's got a bit of a 70s vibe to it as well, but it's so pretty for wearing out with um, just a pair of denim jeans, a little leather jacket even for really glamming up. And it also is perfect for summer as well. You want to make a little short sleeve top have a bit of glitz and glam and you can jazz it up with some little earrings as well so i'm going to take you through the dressier versions i've made and also the more casual cozy versions as well now i have added a few new knits that you might not have noticed the other night the friday night fabric uh, we did a little launch of the new fabrics in the store we've got a few new knits since then also a couple of new knits that you'll see with matching bindings that you can go ahead and make this pattern up it will complement it beautifully plenty of stretch in the uh, lyrex knits and they are lovely weight as well for showing off a bit of drape and a bit of movement before we get started, I do need to tell you that I have an affiliate link for this pattern. If you do click on and purchase through this uh, affiliate link, it does give small commission. It goes back into giving you guys more content more often. And we all love Pattern Emporium patterns. I think the versatility is the fantastic thing. Kate's patterns always have great instructions. This one is also fantastic. I've just made this morning the V-neck version in less than an hour. It is one of those tops that you can make up in an afternoon or an evening, no problems at all, because it's just so simple and it looks fantastic. You have different necklines. So there is the uh, cowl neck, which is what I've got. And I, I love a good cowl neck. I'm not a very big high neck type of person. I feel too claustrophobic, but I love a bit of skin showing around the neck. And this gives that really soft kind of a romantic feel. And it is so nice for wearing, as I say, with a little jacket as well. You've got the sleeves where you can either do sleeveless, which you get binding for, short sleeves or long sleeves of course us here in the middle of winter we've gone for long sleeves i love that you get that little blouse on effect with the um, gathering around the sleeves the other thing i must admit i did say to kate i have been searching for a pattern like this you must have read my mind because i love a good side split tunic style and the way she's done the hem band on the bottom it's not a traditional hem band that goes right around you've got like a front band and a back band and then you have this little split uh, piece on the side and it looks you know quite involved but it's actually very very simple to make because the instructions are so good but very very simple and it gives that lovely clean line to the side so no need to worrying about sort of like doing those side splits and mitered hems and things like that it really is very simple um the different knits you can make it out of of course any type of knit fabric look just about anything sweater knits um just you know woolen knits french cherries jerseys just about anything um, the one thing she does advise against is a really really loose knit weave that can look more slouchy but you'll see this one here this is the celestial pearl uh, lurex jersey knit that i have in my store it is just beautiful as well it's nice and lightweight and you'll see the little bit of gold flecking through there as well um, there is another version in the store the cosmic midnight color which is a beautiful denim kind of navy colour with that gold lyric. So when the light hits it, it really reflects um, really beautifully, but definitely uh, one of my favourites, this one. So I've gone for the full length in this one. You can do long length, you can do hip length, you can do crop. Um, so it really depends on what you're wanting to wear it with. Um, this one I'm going to put some pics in so you can see exactly how it's come up. This is the long length with the cow neck version and I've made size 14s in all of mine. They're quite generously fitted. Um, I think if you're wanting something a bit more form fitting or cropped, definitely go down a size. But let's see what you think about this one.
the fabrics that I've shown with the patterns are on sale for the release of this pattern and I'm doing a 10% off special promo, you need to use the code SWEETCHEEKS10 to get 10% off all the knitwear in my store. That's any kind of knitwear uh, and you will see the ones that I've made. It gives you a bit of inspo to see how they look when they're sewn up. Um, the next version that I absolutely love was the cow neck again and I've done this this is like a brushed kind of a knit it feels kind of cozy like cashmere or wool it's got a male gray male blend through it and it's actually a navy color like an ink navy and it's called ocean males so that's in my online store as well These two with the cow necks will take about 2.2 meters. Um, you can probably squeeze it out of two meters depending on uh, the length you, that you want. Um, but you must remember that the cow neck piece does take up quite a bit of fabric and you need to have it beautifully drapey and you need to make sure that you cut it uh, exactly how Kate has it laid out on the plan so that when you have it sewn up that your stretch is going this way and not that way because that will give you that beautiful kind of loose loose drapey effect if you cut it the opposite grain it will be more tight and it won't get that beautiful flowy drapey feel so the ocean mail uh, brushed poly knit is also i've worn this actually the last two days in a row because it's so cold um, i've put it with a beautiful pair of tan boots and some jeans and actually felt so comfortable and warm and cozy in it um, but love this fabric, absolutely love it. You know, if you're like me, you have a million different prints. It's so nice to have something simple uh, that goes back with it. So this colour um, is also one of those colours as well that really blends. It's like an oatmeal-y kind of gold flake colour. But yeah, this is the other cow neck. And you'll see the Karawongs are out in full force. They're actually back every every year this time and they think they come here to breed each year. But I love listening to them first thing in the morning. They've got a beautiful call. Um, so that's the two cow neck versions that I've done. I love a good pattern that you, you know, can easily cut out and make within an evening. It's, it's just so handy if you get a bit of inspiration. Now, I've actually got some lyrics that I've had in my stash for a few years now that I really want to make up in something special. And it's just deciding whether I want to do another cow neck version or a v-neck version. Now the v-neck version I've just whipped up this morning. Uh, this is actually some cotton jersey that I have in the online store. It's a, like a rugby kind of knit stripe. It's, it's just a nice light cotton knit with a beautiful grey marl through it and this really, really pretty purple colour. And I've actually got some ribbing in the online store as well to match these. I've got, I think I've got navy uh, white and the purple and I'm actually getting some grey as well in this week too. But it's so handy for doing the V-neck. Now the V-neck is a really different, interesting way of um, that she's done it. It's not your traditional way of doing a V-neck. It's actually done with the ribbing pieces. Um, you'll see in the instructions it's just so simply done. But it gives that really lovely, clean, flat finish and that deep v-neck that reminds me of what I had back in the 80s. I had a vest, I think, with that kind of big chunky v-neck. Um, they are really coming back in again. I've noticed in a lot of stores the, the sleeveless vests that you have in a nice chunky knit. It's so nice for layering over a shirt or like a, a, a polo neck top. But this one I've done in the... Um, purple grey male, the frosted grey male uh, and it's really lovely for wearing just with a pair of sweatpants or a pair of jeans and some trainers uh, but I would love to see the v-neck version done up in a lurex just for going out in the evening. I think you could really make a v-neck look lovely and classy and dressy as well and that one I've done in the hip length version. Can see full on addicted to this pattern it's one of those ones that as I say I was looking and searching and I've seen quite a few things that I'd liked but nothing that really ticked all the boxes as far as having that tunicky style I didn't want anything too close fitting around the body I wanted a little bit of drape that I could wear over a pair of jeans and the side splits is what uh, just did it for me I was so excited when I saw it uh, the other version that I've made up 
is in the beautiful honeydew French terry that's also in my online store and I've used the white ribbing that I do have with it as well just as a contrast. I thought this little tag matched perfectly as well. It's uh, I make my own clothes from the Carling the Machine advent calendar. It is a really lovely minty kind of colour green. I've done the simple round high neck version. You can do a couple of different round necks. You can do the mid or the high neck. And I've done it with the hem bands on the bottom in the same fabric, but I've done the cuffs and the neckline in the rib contrast. So you can really play around with that. Um, I need to shorten my sleeves as always. I did that and it's really come up lovely. And I've gone for the full length in that. So a really lovely, comfortable sweater style top. Yeah, as I say, size 14, again, really generous fit, depending on what you want to wear it with, but I really love that comfort at the moment. So um, really great pattern. I think, again, Kate has just knocked it out of the park with this because she always tends to come out with something right at the time I'm looking for it. So I think she's a bit of a mind reader there. Um, but if you haven't seen her video with her lookbook, she's released that tonight as well. So make sure you go and head over and have a look at that. Um, but you don't forget all of these knits. My store has 10% off knits with the, with the code SWEETCHEEKS10 until I think it's Saturday. Uh, I'll put the dates below that the pattern runs on sale for. You can get 10% off knits as well for this week in the store. And again, I have to say a big thank you to everyone who has supported and gone on and purchased things from my store. I really appreciate it. Don't forget you get a special little treat each time you purchase. You, you get a little uh, yummy little treat and a tea bag as a thank you you from me because I think everyone needs to have a cuppa and a treat while they sew and I have been searching uh, right through the stash thinking of how many more versions I can make with this I want to come up with some really different unusual versions I want to come up with a couple of dressier versions as well as some casual versions too because it's so nice to be able to sew something up um, and that looks dressy and classy that's just really basically a sweater and having the different options for necklines I think really makes it something more unique uh, and it's enjoyable to sew as well and I just love the fact that you can do things like your sleeves on the flat I've used to serge or overlocker for the majority of the sewing of all of these things you don't need one though you can quite easily just do it with a zigzag stitch but um, the overlocker or cover stitch can work wonders. That's one thing I am in the process of looking into purchasing for myself. A lot of the beautiful, generous people over the last couple of years has don have donated to my coffee account. You don't know what that is. It's um, purchasing a coffee for a creator um, that they can put back into their channel. And over the years, I've got some really wonderful people that have um, gone on to support through that. And so I would love to be able to purchase a uh, co cover stitch machine to be able to finish off my knits. Uh, and I know Kate really loves her cover stitch machine. We've been talking about uh, what kind of brand to go for. But um, yeah, that's one thing. I definitely think it will give just that beautiful finish to the... Um, that professional finish to all the knits and I do love a good knit I know that's one thing in the store if you'll notice my fabrics I do love uh, having a good wide variety of knits because I know a lot of you love knitwear and I know it's when it's cool it's so nice to sew something up with knits as well I'd love to hear what your favorite version of the sweet cheeks sweater is personally for me I've got to say the cow neck lyrix is just my absolute favorite I would really love to make up one in the cosmic uh, midnight color as well. Just love that little bit of glitz. And as I say, put a little sparkly earring on and you are ready to hit the town for the night. I think it's just a fantastic pattern. Of course, just look at your length, what you prefer. I've done a mid and a long length. I love them equally both as much. I haven't gone for the crop version, but I think for summer with a pair of pleated pants, they would look beautiful too. And if you're thinking about purchasing through my link, a big thank you for that. And also don't forget the knit we're on special for this week 10% off use the code sweetcheeks10 and that will bring down the price a little bit save yourself some money there and also the pattern I think just goes hand in hand and I've also made sure that with the fabrics that I've used I put picks in there so you can see exactly what I've worn and what I've sewed up and how it goes with the fabric um, that way I think it's just so nice to get a clear image of how things sew up and how they look on the body as well 
Um, but yeah, one of my favourite patterns at the moment. Definitely uh, a winner for the wardrobe. Fits very similarly to the very popular pattern, the grab a cuppa pattern. I know a lot of you have loved sewing that up in that cosy cuddle knit. It is one of my favourite patterns as well. I've made about four of those now. Can never have enough. But this fits very similarly on the body with the same kind of drop shoulder feel, but with all those different neckline and hem options. I think you are really going to love using both of those patterns together um, to combine little two-piece sets, things like that. So definitely love mine with a pair of jeans and it's, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic pattern. So go ahead and have a look at what other patterns are on sale as well at the moment. And Kate always tends to release, when she has a new release pattern, she does tend to mark down uh, some of the other patterns that she's shown in her lookbook as well. So great time to go ahead and purchase a pattern emporium pattern at a discount price. That's all for me today. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've enjoyed the content here, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. That helps other people like you find the channel. And if, and if you haven't subscribed to the Dahlia Society, I would also love to have you join our community of sewists uh, and comment below, as I say, which one you've enjoyed, uh, what one you would like to make as well. I always like to hear what you're sewing and what you're up to as well. So take care, happy sewing, and we'll see you very shortly. Bye for now.